Reverse pivot shift. The reverse pivot shift test begins with the patient supine with the knee in 90 degree of flexion. Valgus stress is then applied to the knee with external rotation force. Bring the knee from 90 degree of flexion to full extension. The tibia reduces from a posterior subluxed position at about 20 degree of flexion. The shift and reduction of the lateral tibial plateau can be felt as it moves anteriorly from a posteriorly subluxed position. The posteriorly subluxed position is at 90 degree of flexion. And the shift of the proximal tibia anteriorly occurs with full knee extension. The clunk occurs at the knee is extended. This is called reverse pivot shift because the shift of the lateral tibial plateau occurs in the opposite direction of the true pivot shift, which is seen in ACL tears. If the tibia is posterolaterally subluxed, the iliotibial band will reduce the knee at the iliotibial band transition from flexor to extensor of the knee. It is important to compare this test to the contralateral knee.